and now when I move, the beam disappears. Charge again, let go, the beam disappears. So that is making the beam appear and disappear from my character using line traces. Now we want it to damage the enemy, so we need an enemy. So I'm going to create a very simple one. I'm going to create a blueprint class, and I'm going to create a pawn, and this is going to be my enemy. And I'm just going to use a cube again. Cube and text and call this health. Bring it to the front of my cube, put it back, put it somewhere along the center-ish. And I'm going to change its color to red. And as you can see it has the variable name health. Now it does have this text that we do need to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function. And we're going to call this losing health. And we're going to need a new variable for it. Health. Now health I'd always set as a float. Personally. Health current just in case you wanted decimal health. Now on my function here of losing health, I'm going to want to change it. So to change it, we want an input because our input we want is we want damage taken. Set this to a float, again in case you wanted decimals. And what we want is we want to get our current health and we also want to set our current health. And we want to set our current health equal to a float minus a float. And we want to set our current health to minus the damage taken. And that is our new current health. And then we also want to check something. Is our float less than or equal to zero? Because if it is, I want to destroy myself. I want to destroy this actor. If it's not, then I want to set text health and I want it to be the value of my current health. So that's our enemy easily set up. So if we just place them in our level, turn them 180 degrees round. Now again, my guy emits the laser beam just from his chest. It can't really be aimed. It's sort of like the Iron Man chest beam. So I'm gonna place that a bit higher for him. And in my enemy, my health, my text, I wanna set this to its original value of 100. To do this in blueprints, you could just do event begin play set text health equal to health current. And we need to set our health current to 100. Now in our character, we want it to affect this enemy. So I'm going to cast to my enemy. And I want to check if the actor I've hit is this enemy. If it is this enemy, I want it to do call its own function of losing health and the damage taken being whatever you want your laser beam to do. Mine's going to be 10. Actually, I'm going to do it to 1 because I'm doing this every frame. And there you go, the enemy's losing health. Okay, I'm going to go to my third person character and just take off that draw debug type. And when I move after shooting my laser beam at the enemy, it stops doing damage. Now as you saw in my example beforehand, I did have this hood here in the bottom left to show my charge rate. Okay, so implement that is a very simple widget blueprint which I've explained in a different tutorial. Uh, so I'm not going to go over that again, I'll just put a link to that down below and you can check that out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped clear up and give any ideas of how to do a sort of Iron Man side attack or laser beams or anything of the sort. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, advice, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll get back to you. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.